This is the new mole mapping machine at the specialist medical clinic. The clinic's business development manager, Patrick Shaw, himself a melanoma patient, volunteered to show us how it works. The machine catalogues every mole on your body, with AI able to identify those of concern. And with follow-up scans, it can be used to spot which moles are growing or changing shape or colour. Most people will look at a mole and they won't be able to tell whether it's actually got bigger or, or changed colour because it, you live with it every day. This machine will take a, a snapshot picture uh, and will digitally tell us that it's bigger, it's got darker, the colours within the picture, within the mould have changed and that alerts us to molecular changes within the skin which then will lead us to uh, make a clinical decision as to whether it needs to be biopsied, removed. Clearly we don't want to operate on people unnecessarily but we do not want to leave uh, moles that are of concern. The course was very straightforward to do. We did it right here in the clinic. Me um, and a few other colleagues, uh, including the matron and our dermatologist nurse. It was very interesting for me. I'd never played around with any sort of machine to do with skincare. And it made me aware also of what to look out for. Skin cancer can often be treated, but what's key is catching it early enough. Mike Nichols was diagnosed with melanoma last year. He says he wanted to give something back to both the clinic and to cancer relief, as well as the wider community. Instead of me giving a donor, or Cheston's to be honest, instead of Cheston's giving a donation to cancer relief, we bought this machine, which Dr. Dearden approved, and it comes here, and that means about 50% or, or 100 pounds per consultation, that is now donated to cancer relief. So, so we think, say, 15,000, 20,000 a year will be donated to cancer relief as a result of this machine, but also, as importantly, if not more importantly, then some people will be mole mapped and they will identify a, a, a dodgy mole, which they wouldn't have done because of this machine, because it's very clever, and perhaps we'll save the odd life or a lot of grief along the way. That will go to centre services, so the nursing team and holistic therapies, day support, counselling, all of those services that we offer um, in our support for people who are worried about cancer, have cancer or are a relative of someone affected by cancer. It's a win-win for, for the charity because we would get an, a regular income screen, uh, stream. But more importantly, it's about prevention of cancer. So although Cancer Relief is very grateful and welcomes the extra funding, it's also really pleased to hear that people are going to be picked up, their, their skin cancers are going to be picked up earlier, and that would give them a much better chance of, of uh, survival and of, indeed of cure. Although there's no direct liaison with the health authority on the part of the clinic, patients can choose to take their scan images to the GHA. The mole mapping machine will be available at the specialist medical clinic as of the 23rd of this month.